If you want to see me create a second look with the Estee Lauder Holiday Blockbuster set for 2019, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and yes, I am going to create a second look using the Estee Lauder makeup from the Holiday Blockbuster set for 2019. These are palettes that I first introduced in this video. I've done a look with them and I am uh, ready to do a second one. Let's just review real quick, really quickly, what I have used prior. And this is the palette that I used last time. And you will see that there are a number of deeper shadows and a, a deeper blush. If you want to see me create the look I did with this palette, I will put it right here. But today we're going to use the other palette. And it's a palette that I did introduce when I went through the kit. And I did swatch them, but I have not used this palette. And in the other palette, there is a blush, and in this case, there is a highlighter. Now, anything that did not come in the Estee Lauder kit, I did apply to my face right off the hop, which is why, as you can see, I do have some makeup on. I have some foundation, some concealer, some setting powder, bronzer, brows, um, a little bit of lip gloss, anything else I can think of. I think that's pretty much it. And I am pretty much ready to go into this palette and I actually want to do highlighter first. I have bronzer on, I think it's enough. Uh, this palette does not have a blush, so I just decided I would go with the highlighter only. And because these are more natural tones, I didn't think that the more rose colored blush in this palette is something that I wanted to use. I don't want to mess with the color. So this is a lot cooler and I want to go into warmer tones, neutral warm tones in this palette. And my lips are feeling very naked so I'm thinking of starting off with the lipstick and this lipstick is Tiger Eye. It is a lipstick that I was quite fond of. I'll just do a swatch for you here. Quite fond of when I did the swatches of all of the makeup. And so yeah, I'm going to put this one on my lips right now so that I have more of a full face for you and then we'll take care of the eyes. Well, highlighter, then we'll take care of the eyes. Okay, here we go. I do like this color. I, I really do. It's um, it's a very, it's it's light brown, but it's not it's sparkly uh, light brown. But it's somewhat sheer, so the um, your lip color does come through, and um, it feels a bit gritty when you apply it. But it's actually pretty comfortable on the lips. So here's again, the color, and you can see that it's a lot rosier because my natural color is showing through. Okay, let's apply this highlighter and for that purpose I'm going to use my Pro Featherweight Blending Brush which is great for highlighter application. We're going to dip right into the highlighter. Now it's, it is a very small pan so you can see comparison to the brush. My brush is right next to the pan here and uh, you know I'm even going behind the palette so you know I'm not exaggerating the size here and it's, it's very small. But, um, I mean, the, the brush can certainly dip in. It's more of a challenge for the eyeshadows than it is for the blush or the highlighter. It's my first time using it. Okay, it's showing up. All right. Other side. I didn't see it really show up on the first pass. Maybe on the, on the uh, camera it's showing as in the video, it's showing better for you than it was for me. But I mean, for a set that's going to be for a lot of people, different ages, different skin types, different skin tone, it's probably a good idea not to have a BAM highlighter, especially since the majority of the population, 
non-YouTuber folks or non-YouTube watcher folks may not really do a whole lot of highlighter. So it makes sense that it would be a mild highlight. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's keep going with this palette. Now I did swatch this palette last time and last time I did do a brown burgundy gold look. And so this time I think I'm going to go more into kind of a neutral peachy tone. So I think I'm going to use the browns at the end here and I'm going to use this pink over on this side. I think that's what I'm going to do and then uh, use one of these two for brow bone highlight. I think that is a decent plan. Actually, I think I might use the highlighter itself for the brow bone highlight, but I am trying to use more of the shadows and I'll probably use probably be good and, and use a shadow. I think I'm going to go into the crease with the second last brown right here. And for that purpose, I'm going to use my trusty crease brush from uh, Sephora. It's just a, a brush I got in a kit of some sort. I'm just going to show you the pan here. I dipped my brush in. I didn't swirl or anything. There's quite a bit of kick up. I don't mind. Some people, it's a deal breaker, so I'm just letting you know. All right, we're going right in to the crease and just tapping some of that product here and there. Despite the fact that these palettes are, the shadows are tiny, I will say that the mirror is, is a good size. It's, a, it's definitely bigger than a compact. They at least went full, full size of the palette for the mirror. So if somebody reapplies makeup on the go during the day, then these palettes are pretty good. Okay, so there is one side. So there was a fair amount of color in this one, and I wasn't sure what to expect, but there, there definitely is a lot of color. Okay, let's do the other eye. And so if um, somebody is considering this set uh, to provide the kind of eyeshadow required for, say, a year's worth of use, I would be careful with that because if you take a look at the number of grams per palette, it's kind of funny. It's, um, is it 4.5.4? 5.4 grams, and that includes the highlighter. So if you take the highlighter away, there are nine pans left. Um, it's maybe, it's less than 0.5 gram per eyeshadow, and I would, I would venture to say quite a bit less than that. So it's not a whole lot of product but you do get variety. You get a total of two palettes, so you get 18 eyeshadows and a highlighter and a blush. But again, if the, you find a favorite eyeshadow in there, it's not going to last you very long. All right, so here we go. There is some shimmer in that brown, so some people might not appreciate it in the crease. It does have a tendency to show texture lines and all that stuff. We'll go below the lash line here to finish it off. Okay, let me see if I'm even here. I would say reasonably, there seems to be a little bit more on that side than this side, so I'm just going to even it out and I'm going to use the brush that I used to set my eye primer. And all I did to set my eye primer is I used Hoola Light, which is a very, very, very light bronzer on my uh, eyelids. And, uh, and I think I just started using it sort of by accident. And I think it does a good job. And the eye primer I'm using is simply a NYX eyeshadow base in 03. I think it works fine. It lasts forever. Okay. So I think those eyes are good. And we are going to go into 
I think I'm going to deepen up the outer lid and I'm going to go into that matte brown right next to that one. And I'm going to be using my angled brush from the same kit as I got the, um, the crease brush. It's just a, a basic kit of five brushes from Sephora. Nothing too complicated. So I've loaded the brush and I'm going to go into, I guess on this side because of the angle I chose. And we're just going to deepen up the outer lid. Okay, a little bit more. Again, quite a bit of kick up. But based on the swatches I'd done, I'm I knew that the um, the mats would blend pretty well, so that's why I'm not fussing about um, putting them on the eye or tapping the brush after applying uh, shadow to the tip uh, because I didn't see an issue with uh, with the swatches. I figured it, I figured it would behave. The matte formula would behave, and it, it is. It is behaving. Okay, so how it's a little bit hard for me sometimes with the light and the glare from the palette to see what it is I'm doing. Let's see what it looks like here. I think I'm going to go just a little bit with um, some more shadow on the lower lash line. Now I like going on my lower uh, lash line. Not everybody does. Personal preference. Do whatever feels right to you. And I think I'm going to intensify the brown one more time. Okay, and just going to blend out a tiny bit here. I think I went a little bit too far. Back and forth. Hmm, a little patch of nothing here. It's weird. All right, I think we've got it. And angling down again. Okay, that's looking reasonable. So we've got the crease, we've got the outer lid. I'm going to suggest brow bone comes next and I'm going to go in with this one for brow bone. Although my default would probably be to go back to the highlighter, but this will do just fine. And I'm going to use my trusty contour brush uh, for that purpose. It's one that I really like to use for brow bone. So let's go right into it. And other side. And I'm going to go check what that noise is. I'm dog sitting and there was a noise that I've never heard before and I thought I should go check to see what is going on, but everything is good. So we've got the, uh, the brow bone highlight done. I think it's quite a flattering look. It's kind of a beige with a bit of a shimmer in it. And I think, yeah, I think it's a, it was a good choice as far as I can see. Now we're going to worry about the inner lid and I really think, I'm going to swatch two. I was thinking of going in for that peach, peachy rose color. And I think I'm going to do two swatches here. The peachy rose color and this kind of golden color next to it. Although I've done a gold look already with the other palette. The thing is, the rosy peach has enough peach in it 
that it's going to work, I don't know if you can see it, that I think it's going to work with the lipstick that I'm wearing. I don't need to go to the gold one. I think it's going to look fine. So we're going to go for, um, for the peachy color, this one. Okay, decisions, decisions, I tell you. I am going to go in with my, mm, I was going to say I'm going to go in with my finger, but what I'll do is I will go in brush first because some folks want to see brush application, and then I'm going to go in with my finger. For brush application, I'm going to go in with a favorite brush of mine, which is a multitasker brush from Smashbox. And let's go right into that pink. Okay, here goes nothing. If you're familiar with this uh, channel, you would see that this is a very subdued look for me. <laughs> I'm usually doing some very, very colorful stuff with my eye looks. But there is nothing wrong with a nice, your eyes but better look. Who knows, for, for some um, of you, it might be uh, that you think it's a, um, it's somewhat of um, an edgy look, right? Everybody's different. Okay, so that is how it looks with brush application. And now I'm going to go in with my pinky and see if I can amp it up a little bit with finger application. I'm really liking this color more than I thought I would. It's uh, it's very, very pretty. Okay, let's do the other side. I'll do brush again. Okay, and I'm going to go in with my finger as well. It just seems to press the shimmer down and make it more um, of a bright color. That's, that's why I like to use my finger. But um, some folks might tell me, well, just apply the shadow wet and you'll get the same effect. Great. I just, in my opinion, I just save a step. All right. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And now this set of um, the Holiday Blockbuster set for 2019 does not come with a liner. So I'm going to go into this palette, into the brown here, and I'm going to apply essentially a liner by using a very small brush and the brown eyeshadow. On the bottom, I'm going to use this smudger brush, and then I'll use a more precise brush for the upper lash line. And I'm just applying a little bit on the brush and let's just get it done. I'm going to speed through this because I'm sure you get the idea. Okay, now for the upper uh, lash line, I'm going to go in with the smudger brush on the outside edge and then refine the liner with the smaller brush afterwards.
I think this looks all right. I'm just going to look in the other palette to see if there is a deeper brown. I don't remember. Okay, there's more of a gray. I think I'm going to go, hmm. I think I'm going to go into this blackish gray and just intensify the liner a little bit more. I thought I was going to stick to one palette, but the brown just isn't cutting it for me. Okay, that's better. Now that this is really going to show. I mean, if you don't have a cool liner to line the lashes, then you need a deeper, if that's a look that you like, you, you just need a, a deeper eyeshadow to be able to pull it off. It's a make-believe cold, cold liner. I was going to say cold liner, but cold liner. And I hope you can see the difference between the two eyes, right? The brown is just not quite as intense as I would like it to be. And I'm just pressing along the lash line. I want to give myself a look of having mascara even though I haven't done it yet. Applied mascara, that is. Okay, I am happier with that. I think that this is a, a relatively neutral but still punchy, punchy look. I mean, I'm trying to use these palettes to show a, a, as dramatic a look as is uh, is reasonable because the the shadows are not um, super super intense or pigmented but I want to show what is possible with this palette also with the full understanding that not everybody wants huge pigmentation but it is nice to see that you can build it however much you want I think I am done I am ready to put on some mascara uh, and this is the this is the mascara that came with the kit, and it is the Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. So I'm going to get back into this palette to be able to apply it. And if you haven't seen a previous video showing it, here you go. This is what the wand looks like. And let's get to applying. It's a very wet feeling mascara, but it's brand new. I mean, I've only used it once so far, so. This is my second application of this. As you may surmise, since this is my second look with the holiday blockbuster set for this year, Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go on the other side. And I'll probably go a second time on that side again. Just giving it a chance to get a little bit drier because it is a very wet formula right now. Of course, mascaras do change usually quite a bit within the first couple weeks of using it. So it's really hard to tell to offer ideas right now as far as exactly what it's going to perform like in, in a few weeks. It's certainly not doing a bad job. I'm not, I'm not upset at it in any way, shape, or form. It's just ex um, exhibiting the expected behaviors of a product that is relatively new and that is expected to start to dry a little bit over time. Okay, that gave me a lot more volume on the second pass. Okay, 
Well, I agree that it's volumizing, that's for sure. And I have dog fluff on my sleeve. It's as though I have some canines in the house. Okay. All right, I am actually pretty happy with this look. Um, let me know what you think of, uh, of the look so far. I think that the lips definitely go with it. Yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, setting spray to uh, set my makeup and then I will give you my final thoughts on this second use of the Estee Lauder Holiday Blockbuster set for 2019. Okay, makeup is set. Here are my thoughts on this palette. I, when I swatched it, and if I haven't linked it yet, I'll put the swatching video right here, or swatches video right here for this set. Um, I did not have high hopes for this palette. I thought it would be hard to do an intense look, and I think that I was wrong. This matte brown, and this kind of a taupey brown shimmer, did pretty well and I was a little bit skeptical because these colors in this palette I thought were going to give me an intense look and I didn't feel like they did all that much. It seems like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at this, but it does seem like these two did a better job unless I didn't apply them the same way and that's always a, a possibility. Uh, this pink is a little bit more pink than I thought. It doesn't the lipstick is, is still fine. I don't think it clashes, but it, it this is a lot more pink than than peach, and I thought it was going to be a little bit more peach. So it's still an okay combination, but um, I think that it could be toned down a little bit. The peach, the, the, the rosiness, pardon me, could be a little bit toned down by a bit of that gold maybe on the center lid or something like that, uh, because there is a little bit of that kind of metallic look on this sheen of a lipstick um, that called that is called uh, Tiger Eye. So this palette so far, and I mean I've used one, two, three, four of the nine shadows, so take it with a grain of salt, um, but I do think that, um, well I do know that it surprised me and I think it, that it, the shadows so far in this very neutral palette um, and this is the warm tone kit, by the way. The very neutral palette um, that is this one is um, is all right. Yeah, it's all right. This um, this palette on this side, I was not as impressed with because I applied um, the shadows with that first uh, palette that has deeper um, colors, and then did a number of other videos after having filmed that video. And as I was editing and going. You know, that look just doesn't look all that good. And it was with the deeper colors from that palette. I mean, these three and the gold should really have given me quite um, sultry evening look, and they didn't really do that. And I thought I was being quite generous with the application of the shadows, but I don't know. So I thought this second look with the Estee Lauder Holiday uh, 2019 set would give me a definitive view and it, it hasn't. I'm First one was okay, this one is better and I think I might have to do another uh, go at these shadows uh, to really make a definitive determination of what I think of the eyeshadows uh, blush and highlighter included in this kit. Um, well, I'm going to say the highlight is very subtle, but it's there. Um, and I think that that is mainstream. I think a subtle highlighter that you could build up is a better option than, some, than something that is blinding that people will be probably in the majority dissatisfied with. I don't want to start rambling, so I'm going to stop. Let me know what you think of this look with this Blockbuster set. I would be very curious and as well if you know that I'm going to do a third look please let me know what shadows in these two palettes you would like to see me use so I'm just going to show you we'll call this one one and this one nine this is the glam palette 
And now for the Nudes palette, same thing. This one is one and this one is nine. We'll just see if um, anybody has any requests for those palettes. If you're really considering this kit, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know what you'd like me to, to sport as um, another look because, uh, yeah, I think I need to do one more go at, um, at this set to determine what I really think. Mascara, I like it. I really like it. I think that it has lengthened my uh, lashes. It's given me a decent amount of volume, so I'm pretty happy with that. And the lipsticks, I, I like them. I've tried two so far, and um, they're very creamy. They're very comfortable. This one, I don't feel like I would need a liner. It's very easy to apply. Yeah, I think that I have covered the gamut here. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate every bit of feedback that you have for me. Um, I appreciate it every single time. And I do appreciate you watching this video in the first place. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.